Yo, what's up guys, happy here bringing you the 4th episode or something like that of the boss or the career mode, whatever you want to call it. And we go straight into the game where we are prepping for the game against Barnsley, which is in the cup. And for some weird reason the formations don't save on career mode, so I have to do this every single time. But yeah, we're about ready to go into the game. We play Salmon and Russell up front. And Russell is still yet to score. And in the 12th minute, Barnsley get the first chance of the game. Pretty lucky break, but the guy just puts in a first time cross and Kelvin Atuhu is there to make it 1 0 to Barnsley. Very disappointed to concede that, but what can we do? And then, literally instantly, Smith gives it to Jamie Ward. Jamie Ward gives it to Salmon. Salmon just manages to hold it up. It feeds through Ward, who is it first time past the keeper, to instantly respond. It was quite poor keeping, to be honest, because as you might, I don't, uh, I don't know, no, it's not in the replay. But he was actually really close, and then uh, just a few minutes later, Connor Salmon running through, feeds Johnny Russell, Johnny Russell gets the chance, and somehow Carroll misses that, I'm not sure how he missed that, but Smith then hits the wall into Russell, Russell then gets another chance, but the keeper says it, and it just doesn't look like Johnny Russell is ever going to score for us. With this, that was a big mess there, but from the result of corner, Carroll whips it in, and Buxton's dead head home. If they have a loop here, they're not sure if it took a deflection or not, but it doesn't matter because we're in the lead. And if we can hold out, then we'll be going into the next round of the cup. But there's Salmon capitalises on a mistake. Awful shot hits the keeper, but luckily the rebound falls straight to him, and it's 3 1. Incidentally, that's how it ends at half time. And then we get a chance of a free kick in the 75th minute. Jimmy Ward hits it, but it just goes over the ball. The second half is very lackluster. And I don't really want to lose, but we get one last chance. Bryson just might just speed through Russell, and Russell somehow can't hit anything on target. And that's how the game will finish. We'll end up winning 3 1. And there's a stats break, see we dominated, but what can we do? And the next game is against Watford, we're back in the league this time. As we make a couple of changes, just formation and a few subs, I believe. I thought about bringing Ben Davies on, but I decided against it. We put Jamie Ward in the team because he played quite well. And we jump in. In the 20th minute, Jamie Ward goes past one fan and hits a beautiful shot and a very good save by the keeper. That would have been a very nice goal if Jamie Ward had scored that. Then, from the resulting corner, Keogh gets a chance and heads home to make it 1 0. 21st minute. So, doing very well at the moment. And I think if I don't. I think for the next episode, I'm going to try world class. Just see how it goes. But that's how it is at half time. And then we get a chance with Russell in the second half. He actually manages to score his first goal for Derby. Very happy when he scored that. It was a bit of a it was a decent pass in there. Russell just fed through. As you see, just a nice pass. Russell just buries it pretty much. Then we make a double substitution, same as now. They bring on the Guggen and Nosworth, then we bring on Salmon and Hughes. And Coots then gets a chance, he whips him across, falls all the way back to Jim Ward, whips on the bike, good save by the keeper there. And we end up winning the game 2 0. So, pretty good result, considering we're away. And then we go to the final game of the episode against QPR. I thought this would be a struggle. I really was expecting this game to be a struggle, but as you will see, we dominated. And then it takes us to the 10th minute to get a first chance where Jamie Ward whips it across. Bit of a lucky cross, Salmon goes for the bicycle kick and Johnny avoids Johnny Russell who picks up his second in two games. And I was like, God, why is Johnny Russell scoring? Watch this for a celebration. Yeah! <laughs> well, pretty good start, especially against QPR. Then, 20 minutes later, Salmon gets a chance, cuts inside, it falls to Jamie Ward, who has a beautiful pass to Russell, who has his second touch. Great finish there by Johnny Russell, you see what confidence gives you. And that was a great finish. It really was a great finish. At half time, or almost half time, Salmon gets a chance, goes past one hit, but unlucky with the finish really. And that actually makes it to half time. And it's 2 0 at half time, then Salmon gets a chance here, bit of harassment on the defender, and then Helio Cesar gets it, don't know what he was doing, and Russell just nicks it off him and runs it into the net. That's 3 0, a hat trick for Johnny Russell. I don't know what's going on with Johnny Russell, but he's an animal now. Then in the 75th minute we get another chance with Salmon. 
Rosa Volley, good save by the keeper, and Carroll is unfortunate that it's on the wrong side and can't force it home. But that's how we're in the game, so I'm going to say no right now. Please like and subscribe and comment. And yeah, till next time, guys, I'm out of it. Peace.